what we call the physical world is nothing but a headset inside consciousness. So to just see how dramatic the change is. Most of us, myself included, think of ourselves as tiny little objects in a vast space-time. Billions of light years across. This, you know, the, the nearest galaxy is 2.4 million light years away, and that's the nearest galaxy, and they, they go off. So I'm just this little tiny, tiny, trivial little chunk of matter in this vast billions of light years across universe space-time. That's, that's the way I thought. And, and now what I'm realizing is, is the other way around. Space-time is a tiny little data structure in my consciousness, and I create it on the fly as I need. So that's how outrageous what I'm saying is. To be very, very explicit, and maybe to shock people, I'm a cognitive neuroscientist, but I'm, I'll say this. Neurons do not exist when they're not perceived, because nothing inside space-time exists when it's not perceived. Space-time itself does not exist when it's not perceived. It is only a data structure that exists when you create it in your consciousness. That's what the, that, that's the shocking, and that's why I've been having a difficult time emotionally wrapping myself around. Intellectually, I'm there. The math has completely convinced me. Our best science convinced me this is true. We'll see when my emotions come along for the ride.